Let's go real far. I should pack my bag first. We've got so much to see. If you really want, I do really do. I could go round the world with you. I'll be there for you. Whatever you do, I'll be there with you. Ali and then. Canadian Pancake Party. Happy Pancake Day, Ollie! Pancakes? Wow! And they're in super awesome shapes, too! Yup! To celebrate the first time we ever ate pancakes together. What are we waiting for, Moon? Let's eat! Pancakes this special should have special syrup, too. <laughs> You're right. And there's only one syrup special enough. Maple syrup! But where can we get it? From maple trees, of course. Pancake alert! Falling flapjacks! Gotcha. You're right. Needs maple syrup. Holly, I'm having a sticky brainstorm. That we should go to the store and buy a bottle of maple syrup? No. We should have a picnic at a real live maple tree farm in the land of all things sweet, sticky, and mapley, Canada! That does sound special. Plus, this could be my chance to finally meet a real Canadian moose. Uh, it's a dream of mine. Let's go. I've got my map and my backup map. And I've got my hats and my backup hats. And I've got our canoe, in case we have to travel across water. Am I forgetting something? Yes, to hurry, let's go. Forgetting something. Forget forgetting. We're on our super sappy, happy maple syrup adventure. We are now arriving in Canada. Wow. Where are the maple trees? The only maple leaf I see is on that Canadian flag. First, we hike to the river. Then, we ooh, canoe to the syrup. But how do we get our canoe? to the water. We carry it over our heads. Or as the French Canadians say, portage. Well then let's portage. Hop, hop, hop. Do we have to go so fast? I don't know. How hungry are you? Very. Hop, 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 hop. Are we there yet? <sighs> Let me check. Hmm. Uh-huh. Not yet. Oh. You hear that, Ollie? I sure do, Moon. Could this be the moment I've waited for all my life? A chance to meet a real live moose? Oh, this way. Uh, that way. Oh, oh, yeah. ah! Hey, Kegler. Follow the flapjacks. Gotcha. Hi, I'm Moon. And I'm Ollie. Huh. I kind of thought a moose would be taller. No moose here. Mike's the name. I'm a beaver. Sorry for the boat bunking. I got a little lost because I forgot my map, eh? Lucky you, Ollie brought a spare. What? No. I'd really like to share, but I can't give away my spare. Why not? You have two. Sure. A map and a backup map. In case a muskrat tramples the first one, or a caribou licks and smears all the ink. What could happen? I'll just copy a map for you onto this piece of bark to help you find your way. Okay. Just as long as it shows me how to get to Sugarbush Bay. There you go. Just as good as a map. Plus, it's a lovely souvenir. Mmm. Tasty, too. Thanks, Ollie. You're all right. Happy hiking. Hop, 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 hop. Canada is very big. Up, up, up. up. Uh. Ugh. Ollie, we made it. We found the river. Hooray! 
Now all we have to do is paddle to the maple tree farm, and then it's mapley syrupy pancake time. Just need to find the paddles. <laughs> oh no! That's what I forgot! Paddles! No! Could it finally be? A moose? Oh, hello, friends. Hi, Mike. What happened to you? Oh, Holly's map was too delicious, so I ate it. And got a little lost. Oops, sorry about that, Mike. Guess I should have made you a backup map, too. No, thanks. I'm full. <laughs> Besides, I know this spot. I can get where I'm going from here. <gasps> uh, Mike? You don't have an extra paddle we could borrow, do you? Sorry, no. But maybe you could paddle with these. You keep two hockey sticks in your canoe? Sure. My hockey stick and my backup hockey stick. These should work. Thanks, Mike. A bientôt. Uh, that's French for see you later. Let's get there fast. Because you know what I always say about water. What? Ah! Water! Oops. Oh, well, how hard could it be to paddle with one hockey stick? Opposites. That's what we are. We can't give up. Give me a smile. Say cheese. We're fun. Okay, it's super hugely hard to paddle with one hockey stick. But we didn't lose a single pancake. <gasps> and there's the maple tree farm. Pancake, pancake day! Now what? Hello? <gasps> Maybe it's a moose this time. Or even better, a moose with maple syrup. Hello, uh -oh. we meet again. Nope, just Mike the beaver. Hi. What are you doing here? Working. I am one busy beaver. <laughs> what a day to forget my hat. You are smart to wear yours. <laughs> hey, would you have an extra one you could spare for a beaver buddy? Sure thing. Moon brought lots and lots of hats. Wait. I'd like to share, but I need all of these to match my many hat fashion moods. It's not good to run out of hats. What if one gets dirty? Or a porcupine hops into one and falls asleep? That could happen. <clears throat> How about this extra napkin I brought for our picnic? <laughs> oh, yes. Very stylish. Thanks, friends. Off to work I go. I know syrup comes from inside the trees. But how do we get it out? Hello, Mr. Maple. Could we have some syrup? Uh, pretty please with maple sugar on top? Ugh. The bark doesn't smell mapley. The syrup isn't in the leaves either. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Wahoo! Oh, boy! Oh, smell that maple sweetness. Ah, mapley. How do you do that? Oh, first I tap the trunk so the sap inside the tree can flow out into the bucket. Then I boil the sap sometimes for days until all that's left is a delicious cup of maple syrup. Got it. Stick a tap into a tree. Can do. Actually, can't do. Tree tapping works in early spring, not fall. This stuff here is leftover from last season. So we can't get our syrup until spring? Mm. Guess our new holiday is maple syrup plus pancake day. Oh, no! I spent all this time boiling the syrup, but I never made pancakes to put it on. Mike has maple syrup, but no pancakes. And we have pancakes, but no maple syrup. Exactly. What are we going to do? Mm. 
what we should have done from the very beginning. Share! <laughs> <laughs> After all, there are lots of reasons not to share, but one really great reason to share... Pancake Day! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. These are great. Ooh. Here's a real map, Mike, so you won't get lost again. And here's the paddle you asked for, Moon. And here's a proper hat for those chilly days. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for passing pancakes. Who wants seconds? Hmm? <laughs> a moose! And none of it would have happened without the amazingness of sharing. Pancake alert! Fall in flapjack! Gotcha! Let's go real far. I should pack my bag first. We've got so much to see. If you really want, I do really do. I could go round the world with you. I'll be there for you. Whatever you do, I'll be there with you. I'll be in Tiptoe through the tulips. Said it, Ollie. Moon! 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 Sorry, I was in the middle of brushing my teeth and oh wow, your tulips finally bloomed. Congratulations, Ollie. They're wonderful. Except, where are the yellow ones? I'm sure I planted yellow ones, but none came up. It's just not spring without them. Don't worry, Ollie. We'll find them because I am having a brainstorm. Uh-oh. When you have a brainstorm, it usually means I get dragged off somewhere. No need to be sad, Ollie. We're just gonna pop over to the Netherlands and get you those yellow tulips. Ollie, something I've got to tell you. I, I, oh, never mind. Let's go get you those yellow tulips. Take our minds off things. Come on, Ollie, what do you say? Okay, I'll just need a pack first, but don't worry, I'll keep it light. Ready? Whoa! Let's go, your tulips are waiting. And lost? <laughs> Not anymore, thanks to my super special super GPS. How's it work? I just tell my super special super GPS where I would like to go. Uh, let's see, what's next on my explorer list? Oh, yeah, to see some tulips. Excellent choice. I just type it in, and then I follow the arrow on the screen till I get there. <laughs> Want to see while I grab a picture? Nice gizmo, but look at the fabulous rubber safety cover it's in. I wonder if it bounces. Yep, 
does. Moon, you just lost Scoot's super special super GPS. And he's going to be super specially upset. We have to do something. Like what? Pretend your phone is the GPS? Genius plan, Ollie. What? No, we can't really do that. Justin. What do you think? Super special, right? <laughs> you sure is. Well, just gonna follow this arrow to the tulip fields. So long. He didn't notice. That's good. This way. If you say so, super special, super GPS. <gasps> but now that fake GPS is taking him in the exact wrong direction. And that's bad. Hey, guys. Everything good? No, no? What happened? We lost Scoot's GPS and replaced it with a fake one. We couldn't bring ourselves to tell him the truth. Yeah, sometimes it is hard to tell a friend when you make a mistake. And now, instead of getting my tulips, we have to catch Scoot and get him back on track. Come on, before he gets away. <laughs> Let's use this. <laughs> and these. Um... This traffic? Not really. Moon, look! There he is! Good job, Ollie. Now all we have to do is spin Scoot around so he goes back toward the tulips. Easy. Fish sticks. Where's he going now? From the side of the bus, it looks like he's on his way to see a windmill. Follow that bus! Shortcut to the windmill. I'll check my map. Got it! Turn here! <laughs> Listen, I sound like a motorboat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yikes! Ah! Is this a shortcut or a carnival ride? Look, there's the bus! If we go across the field, we can catch up to him. Come on! <sighs> This is hopeless. I'll never see my tulips. I wish you'd never lost that super special super GPS. Well, I wish you never had one of your genius plans to make a fake one. Um, guys? Well, I wish you'd never had one of your brainstorms to come here. Guys? Well, I wish you never planted tulips in the first place. Guys, I hate to interrupt this important blaming, but look, we made it. Turned out the lights. Wow, that windmill is gorgeous. Isn't it just so graceful? Except for that weird dangly doggy shaped part. What is that? Straight ahead still? <laughs> if you say so, super special super GPS. <laughs> you gotta be pulling my tulips. What do we do? I am having a brainstorm. Oh no. Woo! <gasps> Chasing that bus again. So tired. What can I do? I know. I'll shout out encouragements. Pedal harder. My grandmother's faster than you, and she's a snail. How's that? Better? Working? Mm. Ollie, I know I was mad at you before, but I really wish you had one of your genius plans to help us out of this. And I wish you had one of your great brainstorms. I know I complain about the moon, but they're actually one of my favorite things about you. When you think about it, Ollie, we are a pretty good team. Yeah, you know what? Team Ollie and Moon can do this. Opposites, that's what we are. We can't give up. Give me a smile, say cheese. We're funny bodies, sing it out and shout.
what's inside the opera house. Let's look backstage. Grab a costume and try to blend in. I can't see Scoot. What a disaster. We've lost our friend. And we never even got the tulips. We really did it this time. Why didn't we just tell him the truth? What do we do? I don't know. Sing? Oh, our, our friend, friend is lost. So very lost, so very lost, so very lost, so very lost. <laughs> we misplaced his GPS. It's me. What a mess! We should have told the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth. Because now our friend is lost. Now our friend is lost. Ollie? Moo? Stanley? Is that you? Your friend is quite clear. The truth is good to hear. what it's all about. Yellow tulips! Uh, uh. Right ahead. If you say so, super special, super GPS. <laughs> Guys, I have to say our adventure has kind of inspired me. I have a confession to make. What is it, Stanley? Well, the truth is, Ollie, I ate your yellow tulips. I'm really sorry. I should have been honest about my mistake. Can you ever forgive me? Definitely. In fact, you know what? From now on, you can eat as many yellow tulips as you like. <laughs> Thanks for my yellow tulips, Moon. Thanks for the adventure, Ollie. <laughs> mm. Let's go real far. I should pack my bag first. We've got so much to see. If you really want, I do really do. I could go round the world with you. I'll be there for you. Whatever you do, I'll be there with you. I'll be in Goosebumps in Greenland. Great day. Huh, Stanley? Oh, it's a bit warm for me. Well, I love it. My toes are warm for the first time all year. Hello, toes. Look how happy you are. It's so, 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 so hot. And I'm out of ice. Ollie, would you share some of yours with me? Sure, Moon. Help yourself. <sighs> that feels so good. So cool. So... I'm hot again. Mm, all the ice melted already. Somebody turn off the sun. Wonder why you're so hot. I'm fine. But how? How are you fine? I like the heat. I bet you would too if you thought cool thoughts. Do you really think that'll work? Sure. Imagine you live in an ice cream cone. I'm still hot. Imagine you're a shivery snowman or you're taking a cool nap in an igloo. Still hot. Wait, what's an igloo? It's a house made of ice and snow. They have that? Where? In some cold places. My friend in Nook in Greenland has one. See? We were on the same skating team. Ah, I love it. Ollie, I'm having a brainstorm. Let's go to Greenland. There's an idea. I could use a break from the heat, too. Why don't I call in Nook and ask him to meet us? But... 
Please, Ollie, come play with us in an igloo. I'm so hot. You want to go away now and miss all of this? Right. Sorry, Toes. But I'm going to need all my winter stuff to keep warm. And I mean all my winter stuff. to be cold for a change. Nope. Isn't it glorious here? It's so fresh and energizing. <sighs> Did you just put on an extra snowsuit? No time to talk. Let's hurry up and get to that igloo. Yay! <laughs> is all white, but the houses are all different colors. It's so pretty. And so chilly. Exactly. I love the cold. <coughs> hey, Stanley. Hey, guys. Meet my friend Inuk. Stanley, great to see you, old buddy, old pal, old friend. <laughs> Whoa. Inuk, these are the friends I told you about. Ollie and Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you. Don't have much time. Big race today. Can't be late. Gotta go. Bye. Fast, fast. Gotta go. It looks a speed skater. Also a speed talker. I like fast. The faster we see an igloo, the faster we get home. <sighs> Igloo's this way near the race, of course. Follow me. Gotta move fast, though. Can't be late. Gotta go, go, go. You gotta, gotta, got it. Uh-oh. We have to catch up to him. Guys, try to keep up. Have to be quick. <laughs> How is Stanley so good on the ice? I don't know. Slime power? Whoa. Whoa. It's beautiful. So beautiful, it made me forget about being cold for a second. Okay, second's over. <laughs> What's the trouble? Oh, no, that won't do. Snowshoes are too slow. No time for that. We need a new plan fast. I don't know. I think we're getting the hang of it. <laughs> or not. Maybe you should try following us in a canoe instead. We're lucky. It's in between seasons. So we can skate over the ice, and you can paddle beside us on the fjord. On the fee what? Fjord. It's sort of a little river. See? People use them like roads in Greenland. Good idea. Canoes are fast. Let's go, go, go. Can't miss the race. Or the igloo. We're coming. Follow us. Go, go, go. Fit, Moon. You will if you leave your bag. What? I can't leave my bag. It has my hot chocolate, my hotter hot chocolate, my really hot chocolate, plus my toe warmers. We're going to lose them, Ollie. Fine, if it gets us there faster. Stay here. I'm really going to need you later. Right, Toes? Ready? Mm -mm. Ready. But we should follow the fjord till we find them. But, Moon, we could get lost. If we go back the way we came, we can have hot chocolate for my bag. And enjoy the warm airport. But this 
This is the way to the igloo. But this is the way to warm. But this is the way to cold. Warm, cold, warm, cold. Oh, no. There's a hole in our boat. We can't put it back in the water now. We'll sink. But how are we going to get to the igloo? Forget the igloo. What about getting home and warm again? But, Ollie, I don't want to go home and feel warm again. All hot and sticky and sweaty. I dislike the heat as much as you dislike the cold. <gasps> you do? You feel as miserable hot as I do cold? Oh, Moon. I didn't understand till now. We've got to get you to that igloo, and I have an idea how. I was saving this blanket for later, but I want my best friend to have it, to get to that igloo. Ollie, that's really nice, but I don't think this blanket will plug this hole. Nope, but it'll turn our canoe into an ice sailing boat. Come on! Opposites, that's what we are. We can't give up, give me a smile. We've been looking and looking for you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm going to be late. I can't be late. We took so long looking for you that we've made a nook late for the Ice Cup Championship race. And let's make it up to him. Hop on, Inuk. Thanks to Ollie, this is the coolest and fastest ice canoe around. One of the top competitors, the famous Inuk, is still not at the starting line. But the big race for the Ice Cup must now begin. Ready, steady, skate! <laughs> Go! You cold, Ollie. Come with me to my igloo. I'm not sure how that's gonna help. Uh, it's warmer in here than out there. Of course. That's what igloos are for, keeping warm. Hot chocolate? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thanks, Anouk. You know, with a hot chocolate, it's not too cold in here. And without one, it's not too hot. Finally, a place where you can both be happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Toes! Genius idea to bring some igloo ice home, Ollie. How you doing, Moon? Would you like another cold drink? Are you comfortable with your ice and fan? Very. Thanks for helping me feel comfortable in the heat, Ollie. You're welcome, Moon. We may like different weather, but that'll never stop us from having fun together. Right, Stanley? <laughs> you said it, Ollie. <sighs> Mm. 
What a great day. But it's been windy and rainy since we woke up. And somebody forgot to close the door again. No, I mean it's a great day because of this. What is it? Fortune cookies from my friend at the Chinese restaurant. You know how I love Chinese food. I might have noticed. Well, my favorite part is these fortune cookies you get at the end. The little slips of paper inside tell you what's going to happen to you. They tell the future. The future? I don't think so. They do. They don't. They do. You don't believe me? Watch this. You will enjoy a delicious cookie. Mmm, so delicious. It was right. That doesn't count. Then let's try another one. Your day is filled with sunshine. Ha! Wrong. Look out the window. See? Sunshine. That was just luck. And it won't last. You'll see. No, you'll see. I can prove I'm right. In fact, I'm having a brainstorm. Uh-oh. Every time you have a brainstorm, I get dragged off somewhere. We'll do whatever the fortune say all day long, and we'll see who's right. Which will be me. So let's do it. Open a cookie, Moon. A delightful surprise and amazing discovery await you in China. Hold on. Where? China. Pack it up, buddy. We're going. But that's so far. But you agreed. Fine, but I'm taking my biggest backpack. I can't wait to prove me right. How about you, Ollie? I can't wait either to prove you wrong. Panda bears, Ollie. Did you know it's my dream to hug one? And look at all the paper lanterns. Excuse me, what are all these decorations for? It's for the Mid-Autumn Festival, also known as the Moon Festival. A me festival? No, a, a moon festival. That's what I said. Are those me cakes? No, they're moon cakes. Thanks, that's what I said. This is my kind of place. Awfully delightful, isn't it, Ollie? Sure, but the cookie promised a delightful surprise. So where is it? Ah! There it is, firecrackers. See, the cookie was right, again. It was just luck. Open another one. Where animals gather, you will be showered with joy. Hmm, now where do animals gather? Nature reserve. Perfect. Ooh. It's so beautiful. Look at all the bamboo and the gorgeous little stream. Just like the cookie said, I already feel joyful. Hmm. Not me. I feel hot and sweaty. Okay, now there's supposed to be monkeys and panda bears. Why aren't they gathering? Because the cookie is wrong, Moon. I do not feel a shower of joy. <laughs> now that was a shower of joy. <laughs> Good thing I packed my hair dryer. Give up, Ollie. Ready to admit the cookie was right? Not a chance. Try another one. You'll see it's just been locked this whole time. Open a gate to adventure and follow your dreams. Come on, let's find a gate. Here it is. The gate to adventure and dreams. <laughs> Hello, adventure. Hello, dreams. Nope, your cookie was wrong, Moon. I win. Let's go home. Give it a second, Ollie. The cookie will be right. It always is. Come on, adventure. Come on, dreams. Admit it, Moon. The cookie is a big phony. No, it isn't. Yes, it... Hmm. 
Sure. What's going on? Ollie? Moon? Scoot! We haven't seen you in a long time. Did you get lost exploring again? What are you doing in China? China? Is that where I am? Oh, <laughs> my map was upside down. <laughs> so, have you seen him? Seen who? The giant panda. Somebody opened the gate and let him out. Somebody let the giant panda out of the nature reserve, Moon. Just left the gate open, Moon. <gasps> what kind of careless person would open a panda gate and then not close it? What kind of... Oh, I left the door open again, didn't I? Okay, bye. And all because you listened to a cookie. A cookie that does not know your future. It does too. You'll see. Now let's find that panda. Anybody seen this panda? Anybody at all? How can we lose a giant panda? They're giant. Where is he? <gasps> Wait, the magic cookie will know what to do. No, it was the cookie that made us lose the giant panda in the first place. Where's the magic in that? You're right, Ollie. All this time, my fortune hasn't come true. Maybe the cookie isn't magic. Yes! I win! I win! <laughs> Maybe there's no magic in this world at all. Well, but, Moon, I never said there was no magic in the whole world. No, you've proven it to me, Ollie. And now there's a panda lost out there, and it's all my fault. But, oh, don't be sad, Moon. Mm -hmm. I can't stand it when you're sad. I just can't help it, Ollie. The cookie's a dud, and there's no way to fix this. I mean, it's not like we have a giant panda whistle to call the giant panda with, do we? <gasps> Moon, if I could make a giant panda whistle appear out of thin air, would that be sort of magic? Are you kidding, Ollie? That would be the most magical thing ever! Good thing I packed my rare one-of-a-kind giant panda whistle. Watch this! <gasps> uh... The panda! Do it again! Uh... It's coming from over there! about magic. You just gotta hug him and squeeze him. If it makes you happy, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Panda, I'm sorry I left your gate open. Now you have to go back to the nature reserve. Everyone is gonna be so glad to see you. Opposites, that's what we are. We can't give up. Give me a smile. We got the panda home. Me too. I guess there is some magic in this world, even though the last fortune didn't work out at all. But wait, Moon, it did. We opened a gate, we had an adventure, and remember your biggest dream has always been... To hug a panda! Yep, every fortune magically came true all day. Wow! Well, except for the first one about an amazing discovery, but they still almost all came true. You know, all this excitement has made me hungry. Let's eat. Yeah, and the best part will be... The, the fortune cookies! cookies! Well, what do you know? They don't even have fortune cookies in China. Yeah, they were invented in San Francisco, USA. Who knew? What an amazing discovery. <gasps> the, the cookie, cookie was right! Cookie Moon? Weird. 
Looks like someone already opened it. Even weirder, looks like my fortune is written in purple crayon. What's it say? From now on, you will close the door. I can't wait to see that fortune come true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go real far. I should pack my bag first. We've got so much to see. If you really want, I do really do. I could go round the world with you. I'll be there for you. Whatever you do, I'll be there with you. Ali and then. Loose Tooth in London. What was that awful sound? I don't know. I heard it, too. <laughs> Ollie, did you hear that strange sound? Strange sound? Yes, like an angry balloon. Or a super squeaky fridge door. Or a dolphin with a cold. No, nope, nothing like that. <laughs> Ollie? Was that sound you? I guess. It's his loose tooth. Oh. <laughs> it won't come out, and I can't eat this cheese. It hurts too much to bite. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you get that tooth out. No, it'll fall out on its own. Okay, we'll try it your way. <laughs> That's it. Doing it my way. Why, I'm the best tooth getter outer in town. They call me the Tooth Whisperer. Really? Okay, Moon. For you. Uh... Hi, Tooth. Wanna come out and play? The Tooth Fairy's waiting, you know, and she's really busy. She's not gonna wait forever. What'll it take to get you out of that mouth and into the good life, hmm? So you wanna play tough, huh, Tooth? Fine. I'm bringing in my secret weapon. The sticky English toffee. <gasps> but that's the chewiest, stickiest candy in the whole world. With a tooth like this, it's the only way. But one bite, the tooth will stick to the toffee, and out it comes. Luckily, I have one precious piece left. Uh. Uh-oh. Hmm. No! <laughs> Wait! I'm having a brainstorm. Uh-oh. When you have a brainstorm, I always get dragged off someplace. We'll go to England to get more. England? Of course. The best sticky toffee in the world comes from England. Plus, my cousin Sir Brett is the first toffee maker to the Queen. I'll text him to meet us at Buckingham Palace. But we're going to help you, Ollie. That's what friends are for. Since you put it that way. Tally ho, to England we go! a big house. Did you know it has 78 bathrooms? No, that's my kind of place. Gate's locked, though. And Sir Brett is not answering. Then how do we get inside to see him and get the toffee? Guess we can't. Oh, well, we tried. Let's go home. Maybe there's another way in. Wait, that hat? It smells beautiful. I gotta have one. You two guys. Yay! <laughs> Come on, guys. Selfie time. Say cheese. Hmm. Cheese. 
look! It's a fuzzy parade! They're going in where Sir Brett is. Follow them! Actually, Moon... Don't you just love the way they walk? But, Moon, these guys with the fuzzy hats, they're... Pretty? Popular? Pleasing to the eye? No visitors here! <laughs> no palace guard. And only guards are allowed in that way. Well, guess we better head home now and wait for my tooth to fall out. <laughs> no way. I'm not letting you suffer another minute. We're finding that toffee and getting that tooth out. Wait, there's Sir Brett on the bus. Stop that bus! <laughs> Sir, Sir Brett! Brett! Left my package up top. Sorry, about that. Sir Brett! Sir Brett! Excuse me. Sir Brett! I'm slime. Sorry. Sir Brett! 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 <laughs> Finally! We've been looking and looking for you. Mamre! Oh, snow blam These are the friends I was telling you about. Ollie's got the loose tooth. We were hoping you might have some toffee for us to help get it out. Mm-hmm. Uh... Hey, not a real one. I can't understand a word he's saying. I think he's got a mouth full of sticky toffee. Goodness, look over the dog. <laughs> sure, we'd love to have a look at your toffee factory while we're here. I speak fluent toffee. Madras Londi Gondek. Oh, prefer some tea and cake. See, you're learning fast. Now get ready to sit a while. The English like to take their time with tea. Mmm, delicious. It's really not a Excuse us. We have to not be here. Bye. Come on, Ollie. While they take forever with tea, we'll get you that toffee. Oh, slippery floor. Whoa. Ah. What happened? Where are we? Are we moving? Whoa. Whoa. We're on the sticky toffee tester assembly line. Watch out for the toffee twirler. Hello? Why, thank you. <laughs> Watch out for the toffee shakers! Yeah. Toffee stretchers! They've been gone a while. I think I'll just go check on them. Guys, everything over. Now can we please go home and wait for my tooth to fall out? But, Ollie, we can't give up now. Can we give up soon? Look, we're covered in sticky toffee. You've got to be able to reach some with your mouth. Please, let's just go home. Things couldn't be worse. No. We're going back in there and getting toffee for my friend. Okay, Moon, I'll do it. But just because you're my friend. Opposites, that's what we are. We can't give up. Give me a smile and say cheese. We're funny buddies, sing it out and shout. You are my best friend, we can work it out. Side by side, we're funny. Wrong. Things could get worse. Now I've got toffee all over me and I'm all wet. Yeah, but all I wanted to do was stay home, be patient, but instead I came all the way here but... and I got kicked out of the Queen's Palace 
and twirled and stretched and covered in plus, my tooth will still not come out. It won't come out. It just won't come out. I'm sorry, Ollie. I just wanted to help you get out. <laughs> what? It is! It's out! It's out! It's out! And hang on! Now I'm jumping up and down! <laughs> <laughs> because we're not stuck together anymore. The mud puddle must have dissolved the toffee. Moon, that was your best brainstorm ever! Uh, I had a brainstorm? Yes! To get me so frustrated that I yelled my tooth out is the best brainstorm ever! Oh, yeah. That is a good one. I'll use that next time somebody has a loose tooth. Mm, that sure was yummy toffee. <laughs> oh, there you are. Looking better, I see. May I offer you some sticky toffee? I'd love to try it. Thanks. I'm in no hurry to get home. You, Moon? What? Black old cat? I'm dying of nibbling water. <laughs> I don't understand a word they're saying. Ollie, how much did the Tooth Fairy leave you? About nine ounces of West Country English cheddar, that is. That Tooth Fairy really knows me. Try it. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Moon? My tooth, it, it's loose. <gasps> you know what that means. Tally-ho to England we 